And hello there, YouTube. Welcome to the Real October Network. Stefan Cassidy here, making another report. Anyways, I'm glad to see everybody back here. So, anyways, uh, I know we've been kind of sparse the last few weeks or so. I know I told everybody that I was going to be on break, so took a little bit of a hiatus. Did a couple videos, including the car show, a lot of 3D videos, so if you haven't visited those yet, definitely check them out. Anyway, so uh, topic of the day is uh, something that's probably pretty a point, uh, important to all of the uh, uh, people out there who uh, use a computer and I don't know, a lot of you may use less than legitimate websites like BitTorrent, Usenet. And uh, today, March 1st, 2013 is a very um, important day because the five biggest uh, ISPs here in the uh, United States have deployed what is called the copyright alert system. Completely automated. This is a system that was designed by uh, the uh, Motion Picture Association, Recording Industry Association, ISPs, and uh, essentially they are going to have automatic uh, automatic processes for determining whether you are downloading illegal materials against the copyright holder's policy. So, anyways, this is uh, the infamous Six Strikes plan. Uh, I don't know if anybody's read up on that, but essentially what it is is uh, you get six strikes, you get six trials before they cut off your internet access. And it seems like it's pretty lenient, but uh, as I'll explain in a little bit, you'll note that it's probably not giving fair process. So anyways, uh, what happens is with it, the way this copyright alert system ha uh, uh, works is that when a potential infringement is detected by your ISP, uh, or what, what essentially happens is uh, they'll have these, uh, I guess, bots trolling all the BitTorrent sites like Fenipe and uh, Torrent Freak and all those guys, and they'll detect ISP or, or I, I, ISP addresses, IP addresses, and they'll send it to the appropriate ISP, which will then uh, go and uh, give you a strike. And the first few strikes are just physical warnings. Uh, some uh, ISPs are going to cut off service for 24 hours. There's not going to be a permanent ban on service. Uh, Comcast has announced already that they will probably, um, you know, hijack browsers and just make people take uh, uh, intellectual property uh, uh, refreshers, I guess you could say, uh, before they can reconnect to the internet. And there's other stuff that's being di d discussed, including throttling and that kind of stuff. And uh, certain, I certain IP addresses will be blocked. So that's how it would work. Obviously, it's the biggest. Uh, it's the biggest. Uh, I, ISPs who will be using this. I have my laptop actually in front because my desktop is not working. So, so actually, I have this. Uh, I have this pulled up on Inquisitor.com. I'm going to include some links at the end so you guys can read up. And one of the problems with this is that there is no real uh, person who is looking at these crimes. You just get the strike. And if you want to review whether that strike is real or not, you have to pay $35 to have it reviewed. It's essentially, I guess, a penalty for if you get caught, you know, it's like defending yourself, which is pretty much silly, you know, because this is automated. So you, you can understand that the false alarm 
rate will kind of uh, be up there. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think it'll be way, way up there. And so, um, I was thinking emergency alert system where this is just going to be like a completely automated process. And it's really uh, hard to prove. So, uh, the and ISPs that are uh, the telcos that are participating are AT&T, Cablevision, Comcast, Time Warner, and Verizon. So it's essentially your big five. So, uh, but uh, yeah, they're going to limit uh, ISP or uh, internet speeds, which is pretty unfreaking believable. But do you realize that there are mistakes that are with this? I mean, obviously, in order to pay the $35 fee just to get the review, every time you get a review, you'll have to pay that $35 fee. And, you know, if there's a false alarm, you know, what's going on with that? Obviously, this is a big, uh, this is a big uh, topic that's popped up. And, uh... I think too also that this is not going to stop people from downloading. Obviously the people who are smart enough to download large enough uh, files, you know, and whole series and, and whatnot, uh, most of them use encrypted connections or VPNs or something like that. And people just go after this stuff and it's really kind of a black box and it's totally it's totally uh hidden in this uh you know we don't know how they're getting this information and whatnot i think too that a lot of people who download really would like to pay the artists or pay the creators of the music for their works however i think too that they've become so accustomed to downloading that you know it's really a victimless crime Everybody sees 50 cents, big houses, and how Miley Cyrus gets her hair cut, and Lindsay Lohan spends her time drinking and doing drugs. So that's, uh, that's uh, a little bit of a, a thing that people will say about it. So this is backed by the Center for Copyright Information, which I think, too, is a private industry kind of oversight, and they have a bias. So they designed a program that's supposed to hunt copyright infringers down, but, you know, due process is not going to be uh, followed, or it's very highly unlikely that due process will be followed. So there's a lot of things that are backwards, such as the CCI, as they're called, not understanding fair use, and these guys were the same ones who were trying to pass uh, SOPA and PIPA, which is the video that got about 6,000 hits here on the Red October Network. Uh, and so, read about that too, and uh, I'm looking through a bunch of articles here. Um, this is the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And uh, just type this in, the Copyright Alert System launches Monday. And uh, there's Cablevision's going to do 24-hour suspensions and these so-called mitigation measures. And so it's really, really, really uh, something that is different. Obviously with me, you know, I'll think twice before I torrent, but I don't think it's going to stop my torrenting habits completely. Obviously I do use an encrypted connection. Uh, and so people that can't, I mean, you know, if the Department of Homeland Security wants to see what's going through the pipes, they have to, <laughs> they have to decrypt it first. So, um, but there's several ways that uh, I know this uh, Wired was coming up with, uh, with uh, ideas, and a couple of them were discussing just using VPNs. Also, according to this uh, CCI, the business accounts are not going to uh, are not going to uh, have this uh, copyright alert system activated. So that's also a possibility. I notice my fingers are getting in the way. So, <laughs> so yes, that's scary if you're watching this in 
uh, in 3D. So I'm pulling this up, the Six Strikes copyright system, and it's by working to educate and notify, notify internet subscribers when internet service accounts possibly are mis being misused for online content theft. So Usenet, um, obviously it's uh, public. Stream content like YouTube, get all your videos for free, and then just strip them using Audacity and using the stereo mix. Cyber lockers and like I said, the bus the business account. You know, so I think too that we're going to have this kind of debated. There are, I mean, there's going to be a lot of false alarms. It's going to end up having people jump to the smaller ISPs. And, uh, you know, I don't think it ever stopped anybody in the past. Obviously, the lawsuits that the RIA had never stopped it. Uh, you know, the, 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 the copyright trolls, the uh, Right Haven never stopped it. Uh, DHS and Alberto Gonzalez didn't stop it, you know, teaching kids. And obviously, copyright law is a huge gray area here. Um, obviously, you know, with me, I look at it a little bit different way. If you want to steal this video uh, and put it on your website, I'd rather have the exposure, which is what most artists who are starting out uh, want. I know that, uh, but I have a friend who is a sound engineer for theater, and she says to me, uh, she says, you don't understand, this goes to pay for our paychecks and, and whatnot. So I'll cut the bullshit. Anyways, I do think that, um, you know, that this is not going to work. I think, too, because people are wise, they'll just start encrypting their traffic. And there's so much uh, content that's being put through the pipe that it's going to be really, really hard to keep track of who does what. Uh, so that'll that'll be obviously the <laughs> the the kicker. And I think too that you know proving the lost sale argument was invalid, and proving that um, you know the people downloading is going to end uh, compensation. Obviously, I think iTunes has done more to destroy the music industry than the fact that um, if you listen to music today, a lot of it's cookie cutter. The people don't have talent. Uh, you know, the big the people don't have any rejection against the big three. You know, the the monopoly on the music industry, the monopoly on the movie industry. That they just they simply don't care. So. I don't think, I don't have any guilt in downloading. I mean, I don't have any guilt in stealing music. Or downloading it, it's not stealing because there's no lost sale. I have no guilt in filling up a hard drive of <laughs> videos and stuff. And what can I say? It's, it's really, uh, it's really something that I think people are just going to have to get over it, you know, and Obviously, music has to be free, and, you know, I think the soap and the pipe were a big wake-up call for uh, copyright law, and the rejection that followed uh, really caused a lot of activism. I know Jared Moya had a lot of, on Zero Paid, had a lot of things to say about it. So, anyways, uh, that's just uh, what I wanted to say about it about this copyright alert system like the emergency alert system. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. So leave your comments, download carefully, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching for the Red October Network. So long.